Our students learn something about uh, advanced manufacturing skills. So in today we're going to do things like computer work to do CAM, and we're going to make parts on the computer. Uh, another group will make some samples. That's pretty much what we're going to do today. One group is going to do the three axes C and C. Is that correct? It's oh. group one. Which group two? The projects we have done with, I think, CNC project one, CNC project two, and the NACA dot. You're gonna do. Make sure they they done the, all the tool paths are done. I'm gonna make those today in the CNC. Okay. So you guys do that today. The other group, you guys gonna do, do that people? project. Where are we? Somewhere. No. I made the those three over there, they're hiding from me. <laughs> you guys working on that work. You guys know what to do today. I want to see the files before we stick them in there on the computer. Right, so you guys can go to the computer well, lab, work on those, and I'll be there in five I'm minutes, sure and then we're going to see if they're all right. Okay? Then you can make stock, and then we can uh, stick them in there and go make it. And the other guys, they should be working on cutting today. Yeah. So you guys go with Graham. Graham will be cutting today. So maybe you want to follow Graham, and he will, they will start starting some cutting some samples. Okay. And by the time I'm coming back, we start making things on the other two machines. C1 and CNC2 project tutorials, yeah. tutorials, and I want to make those today on the CNC okay. together with the NACA Okay. So those three we can make. So I want you to do all the cam work. Maybe you guys can start first. See how this fit in here. I mean, even if it doesn't fit, it doesn't matter because we got a double side tape and then come this way. So this is the sample we made first. Uh, this is a carbon fiber pre preg layup. It, this is four plies layup, and this is eight plies, and this is 24 plies. And each of these has different purpose of uh, test. For example, this is a tensile test. So after you cut this one, you're gonna have this kind of test sample. So like, after you make it, you're gonna bring it to a test machine and like, measure how uh, how it can handle how how much of the load it can handle and this one we we don't have a sample yet but yeah we're gonna cut this in small piece and we're gonna do it for another test so so and this is the we call it jig um, the reason we make this made this is uh, we're gonna put our sample when we cut uh, in the surface grinder so it can hold the sample so it doesn't move you know? okay. all right so you guys what do you want to we'll start the tensile first tensile first yeah. okay so this is a tensile jig and it seems like it goes to here right but still, you have, yeah. So you need to cut it first and then sand it nice and perfect surface over here so you can fit on right here. First cut it with the bandsaw and finish with the, surf, the belt sander.
across here. Oh, uh, right yeah. Good on your part. So now just double sided tape to clean it first. Mm -hmm. Does it matter which side is up? I'm going to this side. This, this side should be uh, attached to this side okay. because it's you know. It doesn't matter which side. It is better to uh, attach this side to here because uh, double side tape works better on this side. Guys, we need to uh, make sure this is perfectly horizontal, not like, not like this, you know. Yeah. So, what we can do, just try to make sure. So this is lined up, and if this, this one line up, then it. It's going to be like perfectly horizontal, right? Does it matter if we're taking off the this bed or not? It's okay because you can cut here anyway. And after that, can you uh, turn that power on? We gonna. So, come here. Power on and magnetic chuck on off, right? It seems like it's off, but it seems like on, right? So, we're gonna turn on. In that case, it's not gonna be on. Okay. x-axis and y-axis also, right? Yeah. You need to set, let's set y-axis first. So this blade should be cut up more than here, so your part is cut completely, right? Yeah. So let's bring it to... So you can just visually see it. Right. not there yet, right? I think that's good. Better? Oh. So, so after you set the y-axis, we're gonna set it zero, right? Here is the scale. Twice, then it's going to be twice to zero. Zero. Okay. This is our zero. There's the first one there. Right.
we need to did you turn on the pump already? Yeah. This is pump, this is blade. So there's a pump on. It's good, right? So we are in zero right now. And we're gonna move it and go down little bit by little bit by little bit until we So we tried to figure it out how much uh, load carbon fiber can hold, you know. So, yeah. For example, this is a tensile test sample. We tried to find out how many load it can like hold. So after we make this one, we're gonna bring it to the test machine and uh, put this in the test machine and. Like we uh, we collect all the data, yeah. So we can make graph and yeah. <laughs> Find yeah. out when its breaking point is or how much it can safely carry. Right. Yeah. Right. Also, this is a carbon fiber, but we have there are a bunch of like different kind of composite material in industry, so. We uh, make tensile sample with different materials, so we compare which material can like hold like strongest, like biggest load or those stuff. It's such a good idea to record this video because when I was in high school, like I have no idea what's going on in like outside of high school. So if you show this uh, video to students they think they can have some idea what they want to do. 7 by 5 by 2 and a half. This is not wide enough. So here the students they're working on the on the machining design. So you can see here what this is the what is started as a block. And then you can see that the making process will be. So the idea is that you can fully simulate it, find out all the errors before you actually start making something. Eliminate a lot of guesswork. Okay. There's a lot of programming steps that I they need to learn here, which is probably the hardest step. The machine is relatively easy, a couple of buttons, and it tends to make whatever you tell it to make. There's a big block in the scenes here right now that needs to come out. And then there's like another thing with an aluminum thing on top, what we used last week, mm -hmm. that needs to go back in. Oh. So I think there's an adjustable wrench laying out there, but there's all the information on there. Yeah, you're programming in something that shouldn't be there. So it comes in and it just jerks to the material before. So you have something programmed that's not correct. It happens for all the four corners, but I'm not sure why. Uh, try to make these things, you know, you go like this. Try to go that way. So when you go back, just go to edit definition. You go into facing. And then you can say, you know, say instead of zero degree, make it 90 degrees. Change that pattern to that way, and not 
Now it doesn't hit that corner. Yeah, it's just okay, so it's good for all four. Well, they kind of go through different steps a little bit. You know, some students, they said three, did the four modules in the three student groups. So they, they're not working all the same at the same time because they don't have enough equipment. So, so some of them do a little bit more up front and others later on. But they learn this in the program and they all learn at the same time in lecture. There's one hour lecture a week where they learn programming. Did we double check the tools in here? There's the tools you have selected for the You have an 8 and 7, which 7 is a really long 3 8 ball mail, and yeah. 8 is an end mail, half inch end mail. Yeah. So that's correct. So let's do that one first. Okay. You need to change yours. Here's the so it is always that, that whatever you're making these wonderful CAM programs, you have to make sure it lines up with your machine. Yeah, because when a, you think it's going to pick up a half inch tool, it's going to pick up like a 3 8 or, or, or 3 4 messing up your part. You start making the same pattern with a bigger size. So. Alright, is it ready to go? Yeah. This is the first time we're running this class, so you'll see that some things are not oiled like they should be. But that's okay. Yeah. Is it these? Or 
my nice sheet. Press the tool, yeah. offset measure key. Offset measure. All right. But we're not selected. 07 is good, right? And that's all we need. Guys, you have two warm M6. MDI. Do I need your, oh. MDI, erase program. Where's that? Uh, oh. And then you select two, uh, one, and six. Wow. Say it. And then you say cycle start. Yeah. The doors are open. Very good. Oh, we have to repeat it. Oh, we reset it. Okay. okay, now cycle start. Yeah. So he started an open cinema, this should be a bit more reaction time. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to load our program in there. It's done. It's done? Alright, so we'll go back to the instructions. Once the simulation is complete, press the MEM button two times. And then press the orange reset button. Press the Raptor 25, when you have there, and bring the feet and the speed down to 20%. So you use these two buttons, you can see we bring the feet down, just in case, so we start slow, and we're all happy, we speed it up to 100%. The first thing I do when I stop cycle start, I make sure it's going to pick up the right tool. You know, you expect tool number 8, it's going to pick up tool number 9, it's time to start. Alright? Well, let's give it a shot. Up the right tool. You start milling. Uh, looks like it's okay. So bring them up to 100 percent. RPM up and then feet forward. Did they define the spindle speed too? Yeah. Oh, you just bring them up to 100. So you know this one. Keep that in mind with it. And no coolant. You have to turn it off. Thank you. There you go, that's how simple it is. Well, this is going to take like 10 or 15 minutes, I guess. Okay, so are we going to flip this over and cut off the bottom? Or? You could. They have to make a new thing. Or you can put them on the bench off. Yeah, okay. Good enough for today. Probably.